aspirin or Advil at school, an ear piercing or tattoo. Teenage girls need their parents' permission for those, but not for an abortion. That's something supporters of Proposition 85 want to change. Prop 85 is just common sense. The proposition requires abortion providers to notify parents 48 hours before an abortion on a minor, unless it's an emergency or if a judge grants a waiver. Well, first of all, it's very effectively being done in 30 other states that have parental notification or consent laws. That judicial waiver is a very effective tool and it's used in about 10 percent of the cases. The proposition is very similar to 73, which failed in the last election by 6 percent. Prop 85 would force girls to notify an abusive or violent parent that they are pregnant and this puts them in real danger. Although not specifically addressing general abortion rights, the two sides of the battle are on opposite sides of the abortion debate. Pro-life advocate Jim Holman, publisher of The Reader, and the group Parents' Right to Know have spent $3.6 million supporting Prop 85. Planned Parenthood has spent $4.7 million to defeat it. The reality is it's two or three anti-choice zealots who believe that a woman's right to choose needs to be eroded. Get the polling on no on Proposition yeah. 85. Planned Parenthood CEO Dara Johnson says seven out of ten teens already seek their parents' advice regarding sexuality and abortion. It's those most vulnerable teens, those three out of ten, that we're worried about and that we're trying to protect. Opponents say getting a judge involved in those cases under Prop 85 is a form of protection. And Proposition 85 would require the intervention of Child Protective Services, the intervention of the courts, and possibly the removal of a girl out of a home that's not in her best interest. What we believe, what the California Teachers Association, what the American Medical Association all believe is that you cannot mandate good family communication. A 1953 law gave minors the same abortion rights as adults. A parental consent amendment was passed in 1987, then struck down by the state high court 10 years later. The latest field poll shows voters evenly divided over 85. I'm Lauren Reynolds, 10 News.